You want to download MSI Afterburner with Reba Tuner then go to Afterburner and click the Settings tab. Look for the Monitoring tab. Scroll all the way down and enable Frame Rate and Frame Time. Click Show on Screen Display. To get stable frame times on an AMD graphics card you want to go to an area in any game with many characters, or buildings such as downtown if playing Warzone or in town in Red Dead Redemption 2. You can either record your gameplay and rewatch it or keep an eye over the FPS as you play. What you want to look at is finding the lowest FPS you can get in that part of the game. For example I get a low of 120 in this area of the game but north I am getting over 160 FPS. This causes instability and lag spikes. After you have found your lowest FPS in game, open Reva Tuner and click in the frame rate limit box. Limit the FPS to the lowest FPS you got recorded. You can either scale up or down but keep it within 10 FPS to keep a smooth gameplay 99% of the time. As you can see on the top left. My frame times are not jumping around which causes lag spikes. The frame times are consistent so your gameplay will remain consistent as well. Now I will do a test run in other areas of the game. You can turn on VSync if you see screen tearing or leave it off. As you noticed with VSync enabled the frame times are doubled versus 75 FPS locked. My monitor is only 75 Hz. Lock the frame time in Reva Tuner to either your monitor refresh rate or within 10 FPS of the lowest FPS. For example if you're on Warzone and get 110 FPS downtown but everywhere else you get 190 FPS and your monitor is 144 Hz. Lock your FPS to 120 FPS or 110 FPS to not get annoying lag spikes and frame dips. But if you want your frame times as low as possible keep the FPS locked to the maximum monitor refresh rate. In-game frame limiters don't work good so this is why I chose Reva Tuner. It does the job. Again I will test a little bit of the game here. The gameplay is beyond smooth.
Here are the AMD display and graphic settings that work best from my experience. Lastly, make sure you go to your operating system settings and double check you're at the highest refresh rate possible. Have fun and goodbye.